All right, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see in the background over there, that is Ryuma. So I'm going to be going ahead and showing you how to go ahead and solo him. And then after this, we'll go ahead and show you how to solo Borge as well. Uh, I got some techniques with that as well. Um, but overall, uh, you can definitely, definitely 1v1 him. Uh, although I will say, I don't know if you can 1v1 him with every single fruit. I know damn well you can do it with Pika because Pika is obviously the best fruit in the game for farming. Uh, but without further ado, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to get to 9,850 subscribers and I would really appreciate it. There's going to be a link in the description down below below for my discord if you want to go ahead and join that and uh yeah let's go ahead and get right into the video all right so basically all you want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and track them and you are going to need some sort of transportation or get pulled to go ahead and do this uh now i do have two traps over here you don't need this i just did it just for fun um because why not okay well as you can see uh i didn't even need it uh so go ahead and go up here i actually did not even think you could do this uh because of specifically that teleportation move uh but this is out of his range uh, so what i like to go ahead and do is i just get on the ledge over here because if you guys don't know you can actually get uh hit off so uh if you use one of the moves so all i do is go ahead and use light kick don't use light ray immediately go ahead and use light kick just like that he's gonna block that and then he's gonna unblock and then you can go ahead and use light ray on him now he you're not you're not gonna be able to get the full entire 80 hits off he's gonna end up blocking but if you keep on doing this over and over and over again uh, it's easily gonna, you know, it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time for sure, but uh, you'll end up uh, killing him within, I'd say, probably uh, 10 minutes. I'd go for. So yeah, I'm not gonna show all this. That's basically the only skill you need to use. Um, if you're gonna go ahead and use Mara or Goro or something like that, uh, I don't really know the moves for those Devil Fruits too well, so I'm sure you could just go ahead and follow the same exact technique if you have this type of uh, uh, setup with the moves. But obviously, it's just going to take you way, way longer than uh, doing it with Pika uh, for the simple fact that Pika, like I said, is the best fruit at, with farming as of now. I don't know if Mochi took that title, but uh, the, <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, it's still Pika. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up so you guys don't have to watch this, and then uh, after this, we'll go ahead and show you how to beat uh, Borj. All right, so as you can see, we just beat him, and we actually got lucky enough to go ahead and get his scarf, which I'm super hyped about. Uh, I've been trying to get his damn, uh, what's it called, his uh, sword, but I, I'm not having any look of look uh, luck of it uh, as of yet. I actually don't know what that took off. All right, so there you go. That's pretty cool. We got the drop. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I got perfect block sometimes, and uh, there were even times where I actually kicked him uh, or hit him with my light kick. So all you want to go ahead and do is, that if that happens, just go ahead and shoot the roof, uh, and he'll still block even though he's all the way down there. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, now let's uh, go ahead and show you guys how to defeat Borge. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to uh, fight Borge, and I say fight because I'm gonna be straight up honest for you. Uh, probably trying to solo this guy is probably the dumbest thing you can do <laughs> in this game, uh, just because he's an insanely, insanely strong boss. I mean, he's like, it's not even just that so much that he's insanely strong. He's just annoying as hell to fight. So it's like, I highly suggest that you don't solo this because if you do, you're probably gonna be fighting him for I'd say probably a good 20 minutes. Uh, just to go ahead and fight him. Um, you can do this with any fruit, plain and simple. The only requirements are that you're going to need is you need hockey uh, version 2 for sure. Uh, definitely get that maxed out. And then I suggest getting observation hockey version 2 as well. I don't think it helps too much with it, but I guess it's just like, it's just a safe bet to have. I'll be it. it you'll see right now, like he instantly block breaks. So uh, insanely strong overall. So I'm just going to go ahead and you can't block that. So you're just going to have to take that hit. But you're going to just have to go ahead and uh, block his attacks. And then you're going to have to go ahead and um, yeah. I mean, as you can see, this guy is just an insanely, insanely hard boss. So I don't suggest soloing him at all get a damn squad i don't care if you got to go into a pub and beg for someone to invite you to the party soloing him is the dumbest thing you can do this is kind of just like tips to go ahead and fighting him uh because like i said this guy is just he's a really good boss setup but he is insanely hard like if i didn't have my pika like really belt right here with the uh the armor uh, i'd be taking severe damage right here but yeah, if you're going to go ahead and solo him exactly like this, remember, you're going to die multiple, multiple times. And uh, it's going to take you probably a good 20 to 30 minutes just to go ahead and fight him. Uh, I'm not going to show you like I did with Ryuma because I really don't feel like doing that. 
um so uh yeah that's pretty much it so yeah that's basically it like i said uh, i don't suggest 1v1ing or a 1v1ing i don't suggest trying to solo boards it's really not smart of an idea but if you want to go ahead and try at least that's probably the best technique you can go ahead and use um fighting it by him uh, fighting him by yourself at least as you can see ryuma is a very easy boss to solo if you have pika uh let me know down below in the comments if you have another fruit other than pika and you were able to go ahead and do this i suggest trying just because why not but overall I i'm gonna be honest i mean you shouldn't really be soloing these either don't be afraid to go inside of a public server and almost like lose your bounty as you can see i have 31,000 bounty now um i started off this event with over 50,000, um or no 46,000, and uh there are gonna be kids that come in and uh don't join the squad on purpose they're gonna you know do damage to you on purpose uh, wait for you to die from a boss and then obviously since you're in combat they're gonna get your bounty and you're gonna lose it so i've lost easily over probably a good forty thousand bounty in a matter of two days um just from fighting these bosses and stuff like that not so much ryuma and borj but definitely gecko moria is insanely insanely hard to fight especially when he spawns in his silhouette man i mean it's crazy uh but yeah that's pretty much all the tips i have for now i'm gonna go ahead and try and get myself ryuma's sword because uh, i love that sword uh but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope this video did help you out a little bit at least make sure to like comment and subscribe with turning on all post notifications like i said we're trying to get to 9,850 subscribers and i would really appreciate it and there's gonna be a link in the description down below if you want to go ahead and join my discord i highly suggest it because whenever i upload a new video i go ahead and send an announcement inside of the discord as well and plus uh, i just like talking to people sometimes so if you want go ahead join up and uh yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video good luck with fighting these bosses